This video is all about my experience with therapy. If you're a young male, aged anywhere between 12 to 25 years of age, the next seven, eight, nine, ten minutes is gonna be very, very valuable for you. So don't click off the video. Make sure you watch for at least the first three to four minutes so that you get a bit of insight into where I'm coming from and my story. So today, I was doing photos for school and I got chatting to one of the teachers. He was telling me this story about how something like third years or sixth years were going mad on the drink. He was like, wow, like they're going, they're getting younger and younger, it seems, as time goes on. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Have you noticed anything else change over the years? And he said, yeah, people are more open about their mental health. He said it's often hard for young lads in particular to sort of deal with mental health because there's a number of issues that the mainstream don't really deal with. When you think of the common things that the mainstream media would talk about when it comes to mental health, they'll say, like, just talk. You know, if you've got something on your mind, you've got something you're dealing with, just find someone and get it out there. But there's a lot of problems with that. Mental health isn't as black and white as people talking and not talking. There's a lot of nuances. You might not know who to talk to. You might not know what to talk about. You might not know where to start. You might not have the money to go to a therapist. You might not. There's so many ifs, buts and maybes and so many gray areas that I think for a lot of people, it's probably like, well, I can't f deal with any of these things, so I might as well just not do it at all. And these are all the same things that I was going through last summer. And so this whole thing is a bit of a story around my journey in therapy, which I've been doing for the past almost a year, sort of started last summer. I'm gonna take you through that journey and then at the end of it, sort of give you my takeaways from it and whether or not it's worth doing. And there's a purpose behind all this, it's that when I was having this chat with this person, it really got me thinking that, you know, I have a big male audience, like probably 80% of the people who watch my videos are male, and say on average 2,000 people watch my video. So of those 2,000, 1,600 are male. Of those, at least 15% have had to deal with some form of mental health issue or they have something going on be that depression anxiety when you break that down that's like 250 people basically and 250 people is huge like that's the size of commerce imagining 250 people in front of me who all were dealing with the same thing but it largely goes unsaid that's mad to me so i think videos like this can be very helpful because what's so cool about the internet these days is that a lot of you watching this, you're not gonna relate to it. Like you're not 20, you're not a 21 year old male living in Dublin in college. But for some of you, when you hear this message from someone who's so like yourself, who's in the same position to me, you're in the same, you know, a similar part of your life in college, maybe you're doing an internship, it can be really impactful. So that's why I think it's important. So on to my story. Last summer, I went to a therapist for the first time and I've been toying with it for a long time. The first time I'd ever heard of one of my friends going was, um, one of my friends was going to a therapist because his dad had died. And I knew this probably around mid 2018, early 2018. And I, at that time I asked my friend for this therapist number so I could, you know, I said I was thinking of getting into it myself. Then I took the number, didn't really do anything. Probably six or seven months later, I think I lost the number and I was like, man, I wanna go do therapy again. Still didn't do anything. This was like, probably at this point mid 2018 and the straw that broke the camel's back was that as an example here i'm just going to say it was anxiety it wasn't anxiety but let's just say it was so i was dealing with some anxiety and um i needed to go to a therapist about it and the reason why i couldn't just go and talk with someone like my mum, who's the best mum in the world or my dad who's the best dad in the world or my sisters who are the best sisters in the world or like my best friend sean it wasn't that any of these people I thought any less of them. It, they just didn't feel like they were the right people for me to give this problem to. Um, I didn't think my mum or dad would understand. I thought that mum or dad would actually get scared and go the flip side, like my mum would go over the top. Like she'd put me into some mad psychotherapist because she thinks her son is like messed up in the head and she's getting all worried as a parent. Um, but I knew that wasn't the case and I needed to go to an individual who was like objective for me, someone who doesn't know my past. When I sit in the chair in their office, they'll see me for who I am and 
they will just deal what's in front of them without any preconceptions. So I started going and the initial obstacle to overcome was getting over this anxiety. And it began with stuff like just telling him, all my therapist is a guy, telling him all about the situation that was there and what had happened. And there was a bit of crying involved. There was a bit of, a lot of questioning. It wasn't an interrogation. It, it was mainly just me trying to like articulate what had happened. And the, the biggest thing was getting the residual emotion that was in me, like getting that, you know, angst, getting all of that out on the table. So then I could actually get rid of the pent up emotion and then really understand what had happened and how I could take lessons from it and how I could move forward. And that whole process of getting over that anxiety took probably two, three months-ish. And um, after that, coming into Christmas time, uh, I was sort of dealing with other things. It was like work, it was dealing with stuff on my internship, you know, what it's like working in that environment and then what it's like dealing with family. I guess since that point, and I would sort of bring it up to now, which is coming up to May, or today is the 1st of May actually. Therapy for me has been something that like, it's a set time every two weeks when I can just sit down with someone and chat about anything that's on my mind. A lot of the time I go into it and I'm like, hell, I don't even know what I'm gonna talk about this week. It, there's definitely been times where I've been like, is this a waste of money? Because I'm paying quite a bit to go to this certain therapist. The reason why I've kept going with this and sort of persisted, even though that initial anxiety has sort of subsided, is because I wanted to develop some form of like techniques and tool, like a, almost a tool belt of sort of mental things I can tap into when inevitably something bad happens again. At this point right now, I have my, the last session I had was yesterday. I'm thinking of stopping it because I don't really know why I'm still going. I feel like I've, I've sort of acquired quite a bit from it, but the lessons I've taken from it are that it's sort of important when you're dealing with something that you go to someone you trust. Sometimes that person has to be external to your normal everyday life because they won't give you the answers that everybody else is giving you. I'm glad I've tried it just as a life experience to know that I have that under my belt and I have that sort of as a as an avenue to go down if I need to deal with those problems again. And I think the biggest thing is that it's not a big deal, man. It's not a big deal. Everybody has stuff that they go through big and small. People are on different ends of the spectrum. Some people have clinical depression. That's not me. I was just dealing with, you know, a bit of anxiety. But that doesn't make my problem any any smaller than anybody else's. It still has to be dealt with. It's no use saying, oh, I should be happy because I'm a white male in a first world country and I have a great job and I have a really supportive family because if you're unhappy, you're unhappy for a reason. And you do have to deal with that no matter what stage of life you're in. And also the other big thing is that you do have to deal with these problems yourself at the end of the day. So like the therapist doesn't solve my problems. I've got to solve my own problems. The therapist is sort of there to unlock the things that you, you're, that you probably don't want to say to yourself. The things that will, once you put them out there in the open and actually have to deal with them, and step by step try and overcome your own inner demons. That's what true like outcome of therapy should be. The ability for the self to sort of conquer its biggest fears, whatever that is. Because we're all living very individual lives. We all have our own individual dreams. Anybody watching this video, I'm sure has. At night time you're watching, you might be watching motivational videos or something and you're saying to yourself, that's what I want. That thing is what I want to go after. But there could be things that are blocking you from getting that. If that's some form of mental health that's stopping you from getting it, then maybe therapy is something that you could have a look at because I found it quite helpful. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bit of a rant, bit of a different video. Gonna go back to some funny stuff next week because I love making people laugh. Uh, but just wanted to share this because a lot of people out there dealing with stuff and uh, it's always it's always good to have another voice out there giving it socks. What? Not giving it socks. Sharing, sharing their experience, you know? So yeah, give this video a thumbs up for mental health. If you wanna share anything down in the comments, I'm more than happy to have a conversation with anybody, as Adam Redmond would say. Lads, make sure you're dealing with your mental health. It's very important. Right, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.